Hey Aries, welcome back to the channel. This is going to be your June monthly spread for the sign of Aries. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're returning to my channel, welcome. We're going to start out with the Kipper deck for you guys and see what the messages are for you guys for the month of June. Unexpected income at the bottom of the deck. You do have child. So maybe if you guys are going for child support, I do see that coming through for you guys, okay? We do have a false energy that you guys are around. So this could be like your baby mom, baby dad. It even could be, if it's not that particular person, then this is giving me like their family members here with the false person here. So you may need to watch what you're sharing about your children to whoever you're talking to, because I'm seeing like someone's sharing this information with other people or they're utilizing some type of something that you're, they're getting here to like take from you guys with the theft card coming up. So whatever they're trying to, it's also giving me like somebody, I, I, it's giving me like someone could be lying on y'all too, saying that like y'all abuse your child or like child neglect or something like that here I'm seeing as well too. But we do have the coffin. So whatever that is, it could be coming to an end for you guys soon. Let me see. If you guys had anyone transition in your life, I'm do. I, I'm sorry about that. Um, there could be a farmer here because I'm seeing like a corn stalk. So somebody could be passing away near a cornfield or it could be an actual farmer or something like that. Or if it's not that, then this could be someone that lives in like the country with the coffin energy there. I do apologize again. I'm so sorry for your loss for those that that resonate with. But again, whatever's happening here with these children or something here, some kind of energy with that. I'm going to pull a card real quick. But I do see that that's coming to an end. For others of you guys, you may be um, you may be finishing up paying child support. So your child might be eight. What is it like aging out? Yeah, my phone's pinging there. Confirmation. So your child is like coming of age where you're, you're um, this could be happening like around September for you guys. Hmm. I'm seeing eights here. So I'm saying eight, eight, eight. Y'all could be seeing eight, eight, eight. This could be happening in eight days, eight, uh, between eight days and eight months is what I'm getting here. Cause I'm seeing all the way until like September, like fall time when this will be um, ending for you guys. So that would put unexpected income back into your pockets, right? Cause you don't got to pay child support no more. All right, let's see. Um, what's going on with Aries and this, um, let's, let's find out what's going on with this child situation real quick before we get a little farther, hold on. What's this message here about this child or? Some of y'all, y'all could be, um, ooh, there could be a fire and someone's kid could be dying in a fire too, I'm seeing that. I, mm. Please make sure y'all check y'all, um, what is it called in your home? Your uh, sprinkler systems or like your, uh, smoke alarms and stuff like that make sure that stuff is working Com carbon monoxide things and stuff like that make sure all that stuff is working this looks like from like an electrical situation so check y'all panels you know stuff like that yeah we got the tool source coming out here yeah look the four ones this is something happening with the home so if y'all got like sharp objects around, scissors, knives, put them away. Like they shouldn't be out anyway. But confirmation, my phone pinging. But the four wands and the two of swords here. So something's gonna happen at a house or around the home, or this could even be like a, um, it could be a building too, right? It could be some type of building too. Yeah, look, the death card behind the four wands. I can't make it up. Y'all gonna get communication. Somebody's gonna be calling y'all, telling y'all that something's on fire or somebody is, there's a kid that's transitioning here. That's I'm seeing it, y'all. I'm so sorry. I don't like channel messages like that, but the coffin energy here and here go the death card. So I don't know who that's resonating with, but I just wanted to pull cards on that because I just I was seeing it, but I don't like channel messages like that. But I mean, I do. I'm I'm sorry, you know, for whoever that resonates with. It could be a little girl that's going to be passing away here because on this child card, it is the energy of a little girl. Okay. All right. All right, let's keep going here. Let's see what's going on with Aries. Uh, let's take a look at y'all love life real quick. What's going on with their love life real quick? We're going to do three different sprays. We're going to do a little different for June. Oh, we got the Wheel of Fortune here. So if you've been having a rocky time with your marriage or maybe this could be an anniversary coming up for you guys too of a child that could have transitioned. Right? It could be a very sensitive time for you guys, but we do have the Wheel of Fortune. Very positive energy shifting in your love life. Why is this here? Oh, we got the Six of Wands and the Devil. 
So if this is somebody new, mm, this, <laughs> God damn it. God damn Aries, like all oh, these ones, I feel like this person, y'all gonna wanna have like endless sex. Like, look at that. Yes, the devil does, rep it could represent unhealthy energies, but not with this. Look at the six of wands in the Wheel of Fortune. Like, this is like obsession overboard. It looks good. Oh, I didn't bring my other deck to clarify. God dang it. God dang it. All right, the tools towards at the bottom of the deck. Like, you guys are not gonna know what to do. Let me see, hold on, Mars energy. So this is you guys. So this is someone coming towards you guys here. I see Pluto and Mars energy. Could be a Scorpio for you guys. Don't necessarily have to be, or Sag or Leo. Capricorn energy is here too. Hmm. Clarify the devil, please, and thank you. Six of Pentacles, yeah. It looks good, it looks good. Um. So with the Six of Pentacles and the Devil and the Love Spread, this is like somebody wanting to like satisfy you guys, please you guys, like, you know, whatever they need to do. Six of Pentacles is giving energy. Like this is not going to be a selfish energy or energy. Rose could always be reversed. Could be also be you guys. Yeah, look, Five of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands. This could be someone in the public. You could be in the public setting here with the Six of Wands and the Eight of Wands. If not, then this is like giving me like this person is going to be breaking our silence here with the five of pentacles here. Yeah, the world card. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, Aries, then damn it. Yeah, yeah. Get ready. Go start running, working out. Somebody could be in shape like this person here in this damn devil card. Don't necessarily have to be, but they could be. Right? Someone's definitely a hard worker. Dang, the six of pentacles ain't going to stand my hand. See that there? This person is focused on working. So they may have other people that's interested in them. Can you see the hands at the bottom there? All those hands reaching up for them. But they're like, they're focused on either you or what they're doing here, their craft. All right, so this person could get a lot of attention or you could. Yeah, three of pentacles. It looks good. So that looks good, y'all. Let, um, let me pull an angel work here for y'all love. And then we're going to take a look at y'all money. And then we're going to see what hidden messages y'all got coming in that y'all don't see for June. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. All right, so I'm also seeing that there could be like a past person that could be resurfacing for some of you guys here. Because this Five of Pentacles here... Now, remember we talked about child support, so this could be some of y'all still have, like, underage children here. It could be something like that here with the Five of Pentacles. Somebody might feel like they need more money from you guys to provide for children or something here. But we have, listen to your intuition. We have, there's something better and a peaceful resolution here. All right. So use your intuition if you got somebody reaching out to you guys for money or something like that here because they're lying. It's a false per it's a false energy here right and the thief card is here too but it's in the reverse so like whatever they lie about concoct create whatever they try to you know bring up it's like with the death card here like spirit's going to end that they're going to dead that but spirit wants you to know that there is something better right and they want you guys to listen to your intuition All right, so let's see. Sorry, guys, I am not home, as you guys can see. Um, so, yes, I hope you guys had a wonderful Mother's Day, by the way, too, if you're Aries. So sorry, I enjoyed it. I was uh, out of town um, for Mother's Day. I really had a wonderful time, so hopefully you guys enjoyed that. All right, let's take a look at y'all money, though, real quick. I learned that my sister's mother transitioned. So, um, again, I did say a child, but it very well could be, like I said, like a sibling or uh, a female energy, you know, in y'all energy that's going to be transitioning here. So, I am not home. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, um, but yeah. So, let's take a look real quick at um, y'all money. All right. Let's take a look at y'all money. 
start with the kipper real quick. Again, if this resonates with you guys and you like this content, please like, comment, and subscribe. Let's go back to the kipper real quick. These are the only decks that I actually got. Um, I thought I grabbed more decks. It was kind of like a drop everything and go kind of energy. So I just wanted to grab something so I could do some kind of some readings for you guys. All right, so I do apologize. All right, let's see. What's going on with Aries uh, finances? Look at this. This child card is coming out again. Main female? Expectation here? So someone is expecting a child here or someone's going to get someone unexpectedly pregnant here. Someone is going to be expecting here. Y'all just see me put these cards back and shuffle. Here go the child card again with expectation here. So someone is expecting, you know you to show up someone's expecting you to be there all right so we got nine and we got ten so something is in the one eleven oh one is on the clock right now what the heck let's try this again let's see if we can get some different energy here guys all right let's see what's going on with aries career and finances here what's going on with their money I usually don't do this, but I will be um, doing a money spread for you guys for the month of June anyway. So thoughts, we have message of concern and we have concern. All right. At the bottom of the deck, we got message. Wow. So there's a lot of concerning energy here is what I'm seeing here around your finances here with the wealthy man behind the message in the reverse here. So this is someone that could have been... Um, obviously a wealthy man right at one point in time and now that they're you know it's like they're being spiritually demoted here so i don't i don't like to say it but um so someone's wealth could be dwindling away okay someone could be losing uh their stability someone could be losing like you know their cor corporation or company or business or just straight up job or whatever the case may be um don't worry about my eye y'all like it is swollen but nevertheless like i am pushing on all right um so yeah so this is what i'm seeing here and someone's gonna receive messages here about this here okay and it's going to be very concerning here because someone's not going to be able to support a wealthy man lifestyle or live some type of luxurious now it may not have to be luxurious but it could be someone's comfortability level is about to be changed okay is what i'm getting here and i'm so sorry I'm so sorry. I will try to pull a different spread because I know that's not going to be for every Aries. All right. But someone is in thoughts here about choices they did or did not make here is what I'm getting. All right. And we do have a message that's coming in here. So this could be a legal court case or a court uh, like some kind of strong legal stuff is going on here. Let's see. Yeah, that tower card I just seen. What's going on here with Aries finances here? All right. So you guys are getting emails, letters. Um, this is someone that owes people money here. Like they have debt that they can't cover. Yeah, 10 of swords coming out the deck here for your finances here. What else is going on here with Aries finances, please? And thank you. What's going on with Aries finances here, please? And thank you. Now, Aries, this, this could also, remember, roles could always be reversed, right? Yeah, we have the lovers coming out sideways here. So someone could have... Uh, had some infidelity situations happen here and maybe someone's now taking them for everything here. All right, Ten of Swords, Lovers, Gemini Energy. We have the Magician coming out here. We have the Ten of Wands. Yeah, something's definitely coming to a close here. We just saw Ten of Swords, Ten of Wands, and we saw the uh, the World card. You know, it didn't come out for your career and finances here, but there is about to be an abrupt change. Um, I do feel like there's a little bit, there's a little bit more time here before this actually happens because the tower card didn't physically come out, but it did show itself when I parted the deck. So I want to point that out. I want to be very, very clear here. Someone could have also have, um, so what I'm seeing here as well too, like this could have been an opportunity here because the magician is here, right? And the magician represents opportunities, things that we create with God, Allah, Buddha, whatever you guys resonate with, right? But something wasn't really, either something really wasn't what it was supposed to be or, you know, some there was some kind of abrupt change here, right? Because with the magician and the three of wands, it's like someone had to 
it's like someone made a plan, but then they had to quickly change the plan because the three of wands is looking, it's like things at a distance, right? So it's what I'm seeing here. Someone didn't see someone's true colors or whatever this was that wasn't fully revealed here. I feel like someone was also potentially left for dead here with the ten of swords and the deer, the dead guy and the girl, all right? But with the lovers here, now the lovers is contract contract energy, right? When we're talking about career and finances here, again, I'm so sorry about the noise outside, guys, uh, but let's just keep pushing. So there was some kind of contract that is ending or will be changing for you guys here with the ten of swords and the ten of wands, the three of wands here. This could have been someone trying to steal someone's idea too here because when we think, how do we get ideas, right? How do we create new opportunities, right? It all starts with a thought, right? And so that thought has to transition into like a blueprint or like a business proposal or whatever the case may be. And that takes time to create, to put together, you know, the plan out 15, 55 on the clock. So 555 five, five is here. All right, so there was something like that here that is, you know, changing here. There's some type of transformation here. All right, others of you, you may have to go beyond your normal search area. If you, you know, when it comes to your career, your finances here too, this could be something that's happening again at a distance here. Again, this hasn't fully showed up yet because you're still in the process. So, you know, something's still being worked out. But I do see something coming to an abrupt end. Anything else here for Aries for their career and finances here? Then we're going to get any hidden messages and we're going to close it out. All right. So let's see. So if that happens to you guys, Aries, or if you guys did that to you guys, then you know what happens, right? Karma is real, right? You got to reap what you sow. Whatever you put out, what you are manifesting right it shows up for us right whether it shows up today 10 years from now 20 years with 10 10 doesn't matter it could take a full cycle half a century for some of you guys depending on your timeline king of pentacles wanting to come out but there is some concerning information here that's going to be coming through for you guys very 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 soon let's see any other message for career and finances for my aries Yeah, five of pentacles. And the sun. Hmm. When I see the five of pentacles, the sun, king of pentacles, it's like something's being shed on here. It could be money laundering too as well. Right? Someone could have been avoiding tax evasion. Because all this all this message and energy is giving me like paperwork, right? So someone could have been falsifying documents or anything like that. Because look at paperwork here, paperwork up there in the drawer right there's paperwork over here right and there's paperwork here in this lady's hand and with these paint brushes right it just makes me think that someone can create whatever they want right and when you have a blank canvas you can you can put whatever you want on that canvas right you can falsify whatever you want right so it's giving me that kind of energy here so someone's doing like money laundering or like falsifying documents or you know, some kind of uh, white collar crime here with my phone pinging confirmation. <laughs> yeah, experience. So someone could be using someone else's like uh, social security numbers or like um, business numbers or business credentials. Like it's something like that here that someone is like dishonest about, right? And with the sun card, right? Remember guys, it don't matter if it was 20 years ago. Look at Diddy, right? He, he got potentially a rico case coming towards his ass like shit that he done done 20 30 years ago it doesn't matter even things that were done in the dark it's always going to be brought to light right god is always going to reveal whatever in due time everything's all about divine timing right so listen they might have been getting away with it then or presently right or even in the future but just remember what you what you what you put out is what you bring about all right that's what i do know but uh let's pull one here from you guys for this career and finance spread but on a positive note, it's like if this is not you guys directly, maybe you guys are, you know, the middleman, right? Because the, the lovers is right here in the middle. And I can't even pick it up. And it's sideways, right? So maybe y'all getting caught in a crossfire with this energy here, right? So, but I do see positive energy coming in for you guys eventually. I don't have a timeline for you, but the magician is here. The sun card is here. These are two major arcanas, which is very good. Very good energies. And the lovers card here. And don't remember, forget, uh, we have the wealthy man is in the reverse, but we know it's resistant now because maybe things that you guys are tied to or associated with, or there's some type of fictitious energy here, 
But we know eventually that wealthy man card will go into upright in divine time. All right. All right. So let's see. Last message for career and finances from Aries. Let me go and just pull a final message for you guys and close it out. Um, you know, if, if it's court here, because I'm I'm hearing somebody say something here, like, am I going to make out all right? I'll pull a card for whoever just asked that because I heard it. But, I mean, I feel like you will if you just go in there and you be honest and whatever paperwork documents you do have, present that, you know, and just, you know, tell the truth about whatever happened, however it happened. All right, yeah, Spirit saying don't stop. Okay, so don't stop pursuing your dreams. Don't stop pursuing your goals, whatever this is for you guys. Um, and we do have compromise. So there may be some compromise that you guys may have, may have to do. All right, so that's career and finances. Let's pull a final message for you guys here and just see what's happening. Actually, let me pull one more finance spread because that's, this is not going to be everybody's energy here. Let's see if something else different comes out for you guys. Let's Can I get another message here for Aries for their career and finances? Because every Aries is not going through that. Is there anything else for Aries for their career and finances? Last shuffle. Last shuffle for Aries. Let's see. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, guys. Thank you guys so much for being here. Appreciate you. Uh, keep oh don't forget too that every month I do mystery box giveaways for my subscribers only so you do have to be subscribed in order to partake in that anything else you need to know look down below in the description box personal reading life coaching spiritual baths anything like that all right let's see we got two cards flipping now we got mature men and we got a privileged lady here I think I just got my deck in reverse here. I'm going to just be, yeah, I'm going to stand on that. So we do have house at the bottom of the deck here. It's kind of giving me like a, um, I don't know, it's giving me an institution. So maybe some of you guys are taking a job in like a hospital or maybe like, um, I'm hearing like an insane solemn. I don't know how you managed to do that, but I mean, God bless you. Um, but yeah, I see that here too. Did I say hospital? If I did say hospital, I see that energy here too. It, it could be like a um, what's them folks called? Like a CNA or something like that, or LPN or like a, a traveling nurse or something like that. Y'all may y'all may do that as well too. Um, but I do have a privileged lady in the main uh, mature male. So you guys are going to end up becoming this privileged lady here because I see that there's a male here either going to give you guys an opportunity here because look i just seen a story the other day it was a billionaire right um now this billionaire guy he didn't have any children but he had a gardener right and his gardener was a young young man right i know this is a woman but rose could always be a verse right take it how it resonate uh but anyways the billionaire guy left the landscaper like all his all his fortune right all his wealth um, and so that initially made him instantly, right, a privileged man or a privileged, you understand what I'm saying? So, but I'm getting that here. There's like someone that's elderly, someone that's up in age, someone that has established whatever they established. Now, this could be them, like I said, this could be you guys, like what happened with that guy, right? He had no idea that that would ever happen to him. He just went there, did his gardening work, um, and you know. That's it. But the guy ended up leaving him everything when he when he transitioned. So what that what a what a blessing, right? So I don't know. So it could be something like that here, or it could just be like a elderly person or like a wise I don't like to say elderly, but a wise person that be could be um, you know, giving y'all game, teaching y'all how to, you know, it's kinda of with the globe is there, it's giving me like move pieces on the map, you know, to make things work in your favor. Could be giving you an opportunity to a job or something like that too but i do see that let's pull some cards real quick and then we get a final message i like that that's nice all right or if you guys are looking to go independent maybe you know contract work will be good for you guys idea of landscaping or gardening or something like that here all right let's see this could happen in the summertime for you guys because uh i'm seeing eight 
So that will give August energy. Yeah, look at that. The Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck. God damn it. And the Strength and the Eight of Wands. Leo energy. Didn't I just say eight? Eight, eight. Eight of Wands and the Strength card is Leo energy, but represents, well, we do have the July Leos, right? But we don't really count them. Um, we're talking about the August Leos. All right, so I see that. Because I, I feel like, like I said, that's like when I channel stuff, it's not for a reason. Like it, it's it, it's relevant in some kind of way. So that billionaire, like I said, the gardener is, is something here. Like maybe y'all already met this billionaire, right? Maybe you don't actually work for this person. Maybe you just met them out and about. Oh, my phone's pinging, right? My phone's going off. So maybe you guys already met this person and you don't know that they're a billionaire, but they are. And if they're not a billionaire, maybe they're a millionaire, right? Or they're wealthier than you, God damn it. That's the point we're making. But you don't know, right? You don't know. But this person has been watching you, right? They've been looking at maybe you've got an online platform. I don't know. But they've been watching you guys do something. And, and they're going to say something here with the Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands is all about communication here. And this communication is going to make you guys very happy to Ten of Cups. You understand what I'm saying? Knight of Swords. So again, this could be, you know, this mature man, you know, coming to you guys with a business proposal, right? So I, I, I don't know. Maybe he has something and he wants you to be the face of the company. I don't fucking know. I don't know. Everybody's story is different, right? This resonates differently for everybody. You could be an Aries sun sign, an Aries moon, an Aries north node. Got a lot of Leo energy coming out. I don't know. You might be a Leo with Aries placement. In. I don't know. But look, it looks good. So whatever you've been doing, spirits, like, don't stop. You're being noticed. And you're, you're secretively being watched. That's kind of what I'm getting here. All right, but that looks good, Aries. Let's uh, pull a final message here. We're just under 30 minutes. That's great. All right, let's see. Last spread for Aries, whatever wants to come out. Let's just see. Anything that you need to know what's hidden that did not come out in their career and general spread? Oh, you know what? Let's see. Let's do what I usually don't ever do. Let's look at the person on your mind. Let's see. What the person on Aries' mind? What are they thinking about Aries? How do they feel about Aries? Let's get a little nosy. I don't like to get too nosy because without my little ratchet deck, but damn it. Let's see. Anything for Aries here? What's the person on their mind thinking and feeling about Aries? Let's see. Person on Aries' mind. This wants to come out. Let's see. You're ready? So the person on your mind thinks that they're ready. So if this is, uh, I'm getting sexual energy. Yeah, communicate clearly here. So this person is going to communicate clearly what they want for you, from you, or vice versa. You might be telling them what you want for them. But someone's ready here to do something. Let's find out what they're ready to do. So I don't know. They're also saying the person that's watching you guys too. I feel like they're going to be coming forth here soon. They're going to be saying something to you guys really, really soon. All right, so something's about to be ready, all right? And when this communication comes in, if you don't understand or any kind of jargon, lingo, contract, whatever, look it the fuck up. There's nothing wrong with saying, let me get back to you. You do not have to be impulsive and answer right then and there. Let me, let me, let me revise it. Let me get back to you, right? That's actually a healthy thing to do to make sure you guys have time to understand and process what it is that you're doing, reading or whatever. Make sure you have that understanding, that clarity. Oh, we got, what is that? A main male? Okay. So the main male was in the reverse here, but I feel like this, now again, could be male or female, doesn't matter. There's no roles in tarot, right? There's no gender in tarot, right? So this person, like I said, was silent. They weren't saying anything. This person is about to come forth and say something. This main male or it could be a main female. Yeah, journey. Somebody might propose something that you guys need to travel or... They may say, like, hey, let's take a vacation, pack your bags. Yeah, the lovers. Good. Look, confirmation with the horn. God damn it. Somebody like, look, baby, pack your shit. Yeah, take your fine ass away. Yeah, we about to court shit. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> All right, Aries, so somebody wants to court you or you them. Let's see. Somebody's ready to do something here. Shit, look. Man, they're ready. Ready, ready. Somebody might say, uh, you might go on a date to the museum here. Yeah, it's giving museum vibes. All right, let's see. Anything else here? Oh, we're doing great this time. 
Last message for Aries. Anything else? Look like it's going to rain where I'm at, y'all. We are transitioning into the uh, summer. It's kind of still like springy. Let's see. Last message shit for Aries. What's this? God damn, the Wheel of Fortune came out again. Y'all had this earlier. Didn't I say divine timing here? It is time. I feel like this main male is ready, but I feel like they're nervous. That's why it's still in the reverse. But God, like, look, the, the show must go on whether you're ready or not, God damn it. <laughs> so somebody's kid might be nervous to, like, perform. Because I'm, I'm seeing a trumpet here, so someone's child could be, like, a musician or, like, uh, something with the full card here. But I'm just seeing, like, somebody's child is nervous. That's cute. All right, let's see. Why is this Wheel of Fortune here? Well, we know why, but let's see. Uh, this is Sagittarius energy here. Scorpio energy. It's giving me like Mars conjunct in Pluto. Or, or if it's not con conjunct in Pluto, it might be sextile in Pluto. All right. I'm trying to get more into astrology. I usually don't talk too much about it because I'm still learning. But it's definitely giving me like Mars, Sextile, and Pluto. All right, let's see. Uh, we got Five of Pentacles. Nice. We got the Three of Wands. And we got the High Priestess. This is beautiful. So whatever it, the situation is, it doesn't matter. It's about to change drastically here. If you were low on money, Five of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune here is about to transition for you guys. You don't see that coming here. The Three of Wands, along with the High Priestess, Pisces energy. And I'm hearing Taurus Virgo energy here. Uh, Pis uh, the High Priestess also, for me as a reader, it gives me Cancerian energy. But you will hear readers say, you know, Pisces. But for me, it is like Cancerian energy. Um, but with the elements of just that hidden perspective, right? Because the High Priestess is basically Pisces, right? But... Because it's like when you see the, sometimes on the moon, on the high priestess, you'll see the moon card. So this could be get ready to happen around the uh, waxing crescent moon is what they're saying. Which should be coming up. Should be coming up. All right, well, we got the three of wands here. But whatever this is, it's coming in for you guys, right? You're ready. You called it in. We saw the magician card. So Aries, that's what I have for you guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Um, and until the next time. Oh, sorry, I can't turn it off. I gotta get up. Gee!